when i uh, started your course the first chapter in that in the first training module was like we had to create our own story bank before joining this community i had never written any stories Hello everyone who is joining us on Facebook live on our community public speaking mastermind I know it's been a while that we came here but I am here for a special reason in our community in the month of April we ran a challenge a 15 day storytelling challenge where I asked the members to go through a rigorous 15 assignment on storytelling and as part of these three of our community member were able to complete the challenge successfully we have one member here who i am going to interview so if you are watching this live on facebook or maybe you'll watch it later on youtube feel free to like it comment it and share your question as well and help me welcome meenu kurana who is one of the finisher hello meenu ji how are you doing hi editors hi everyone Awesome, awesome. Meenu ji, you are live on Facebook. We are doing this interview. Before we get into the detail about the challenge and how did you do, I want you to tell a little bit about yourself and your journey. I am Meenu. I was born and brought up in Allahabad, and uh, I did my engineering from NIT Allahabad, and then I spent my next twenty-two years uh, in a professional life in uh, Bangalore. And five years ago, I had moved to Delhi. I must. Uh, startup co-founder and work as a program manager. Uh, we design smart energy meters for government of India. I know Hari Tosh for last six months. I am glad to be part of this community. We are so grateful to have you as part of the community. Um, so let me ask you. Um, you li- tell a, told a little bit about your journey in the community, but I want to know how long have you been part of, and most importantly, why did you join our community? It was uh, in the first week of October, and uh, when I was uh, actually that was the time when I thought of uh, applying for uh, some consultancy assignments and some uh, uh, jobs, and I was preparing for my interview because the last interview I had was around. 23 years back, and after that, I didn't get the chance uh, to uh, apply uh, to appear in any interview. So when I was preparing for interview, that is where I read about how important is storytelling for leaders. And at that time, I uh, came across your uh, FB ad uh, on Facebook about the storytelling session, and I grabbed the opportunity. I liked the way you explained, and I had read like leaders are readers, but Now I know that how much storytelling is important for leaders. So that was the reason why I joined it, and I am happy to see uh, my growth as well as uh, your growth, Harito. Uh, like I saw that in six months you started the newsletters and the podcast, and you have been very regular with your YouTube videos. So that inspires. You were one of the finishers of this whole storytelling challenge. Uh, so let me ask you. What were your top three learnings uh, by going through this challenge? When I uh, started your course, the first chapter in that in the first training module was like we had to create our own story bank. So where we have to because sometimes we feel okay we don't have any stories to tell, we don't have much experiences to share with others. So I really like the idea about the story bank where uh, even I started capturing very first story I wrote was on 10th October which I shared with the community and I got the good feedback and that inspired me to write more stories after that like I even wrote my startup journey story which a uh, lot of people liked on LinkedIn and even uh, my college coordinator alumni Uh, had uh, sh- she said that she is going to share with all the students in the MNIT where wow. they'll also be uh, learning from the insights I shared because before joining this community I had never written any stories so mm. so that creating a story bank is the first thing which uh, I can share and awesome. then second thing is uh, we also had to be uh, practice the art of delivering. So we have very good community team members where like Sharon uh, and 
we they also shared the nuances of uh, storytelling how we can uh, improve that and it can only be done by practicing so we are i'm working on that so with each video i i thought ki, okay i got some new learning so that was second learning from that and the members who are there in the call if you have any question feel free to put it in the chat for menu ji i love to take this uh, let's talk about you know when you go through such a challenge you have some tasks which are your least favorite and some of them were your most favorite so i'm not going to ask which was your least favorite but uh, which one task was your most favorite task out of this whole challenge yeah i want to share about the uh, task which i did was where the uh, sharing the experience of like your first date so you said it could be with anyone and that day i was jim corbett uh, national park and i thought okay what could be the <laughs> better topic than doing this my first date with wildlife so i had covered that and it was uh, great learning so the idea that was the most interesting awesome. and relevant topic for me that day because i was live at the location when the task was shared that was so amazing and yeah never ever i thought when i talk about first you're going to take it to the white life <laughs> okay so my next question to you is uh, what has been the outcome of you going through this challenge uh, what has changed in you and 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 how do you Like this. What I feel is, uh, I know that uh, I'm getting better every day. I'm becoming better, and I can do much better also. So this is something I'll be working upon. So I'll be writing more stories. These days, I've uh, kind of make it, made it a habit to read and write every day. So that is the one change uh, I can see that where I'm more committed to reading and writing every day. Awesome, awesome, and I can see that I've been. You've been associated for six months now. I can see from the time you joined the community to right now, you are much more confident and you are open right there, putting out there. Before that, I thought you were a little bit reserved. Now I see you are more open, which is a great quality of a great communicator. So you are onto great things. Amazing. Uh, second last question for you is, what is your message and tip for anyone? who is willing to take up this challenge in future i would tell everyone is uh, the most important thing for the success is to show up so if you show up every day uh, you will be successful that is and then you have to put in effort also uh, but that will be the most important thing where i decided to uh, uh, to uh, work on the assignment every day and it worked like I know that uh, I remember the 15th date. I was in the train. I was traveling to one of my uh, family members' engagement ceremony. So we had a group of around 20 people in the train, and uh, by that time it was already 11:50. And then I thought, okay, okay, I have to do that uh, video again. That was uh, the video was about uh, what message you will give once you are 90 years old to your grandchildren or great grandchildren. So that was the message. Okay, okay, you just have to enjoy the life. I can very well say that you are a very committed person. It's very easy to start. It, it's very, it's easier to quit in between. But it takes guts. It takes a lot of grit and determination to go through and complete any of the assignments, any of the initiative that we take out. So more power to you. Kudos to you. One thing which I want to add because I was looking for a leadership role, and uh, you also told me that. you can be a leader in your organization as well as if you are looking opportunities outside so right. uh, i i feel that for leaders it's very important so that they can be more authentic authentic with their stakeholders be it their employees their customers um, or any vendors or anyone so they will right. uh, trust you more and they will be motivated to take action like once you share the your in stories your organization's vision your objectives your culture so that would be i feel would be very helpful for me because i am into that role and i think so everyone yeah. should be part of the storytelling community that is what my take is awesome awesome and that was my last question to you would you recommend this challenge to anyone in the community or outside the community as well yes because again i am a believer in uh, taking small actions and small wins 
So I think this uh, micro actions, what we can say is because if we take it every day, it will uh, give us a lot of confidence. So for uh, once you build the confidence, uh, you can achieve greater things. Awesome, awesome. Uh, more power to you. Thank you so much, Binu ji, for being part of the community, for going through the challenge, and for inspiring other community members and also people who are watching this on Facebook and will watch it on YouTube and other places. Thank you for that. And for any of you you want to be part of the community, do reach out to us. We we can cater to that. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for giving us the platform to hone our skills. Thank you. My pleasure.